Hey everybody, this is Nana Spring Chicken as you're getting ready for the Easter weekend holiday. Oh, okay, so part of it is maybe you should buy your gas today because the latest news is the UN wants to put on, I'll call it a carbon tax because, see, and Obama wants to go along with it, which is $1.40 a gallon, yes, $1.40 a gallon on tax, well, to help pay reparations for, oh, well, actually, should we say to help encourage us to go green or Wait, it's to help us pay reparations for all the damage we've caused to the world economy from using petroleum? Mm -hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. I also got Herbie. Oh. You know, I, I, a Herbie daddy is one thing, but Herbie, Herbie is a, but, but this is the second generation of, of Herbie's use. Boy, Herbie smells like Herbie, too. I know. Herbie does smell like a dog. So what is this about this new gas tax? Oh, Obama basically is uh, siding with the IMF and the United Nations to uh, teach the United States a viable lesson for destruction of the world's economy by polluting the world. And Obama basically is a hundred a dollar forty a gallon carbon tax, uh, but that's not the half of it, folks. Herbie Herbie will tell you that's right. That uh, it also punishes the United States for using natural resources to pollute and it will put an, he wants to put an extra tax to force you to use Muslim oil. But then what? he tells you though that you no know, but if you don't use oil at all and go green there's no taxes. There just happens to be uh, green vehicles that no one wants that cost more money than anyone afford and also happens to be all environmentally unsound. They said that uh, that there's virtu once you turn uh, once you make a green car, that car is more. They said it turns out 80, time, 80 times more pollution than does a non-green car. Oh really? And in about a decade though, then it tur starts turning the opposite direction, because the law when you own the car for a decade or more, then the pollution goes down. But How people, many people own their car more than a decade? I know, and then, but it is, they do remind, remind you that it's virtually impossible to recycle a green vehicle. Oh, could you imagine? Ugh. Because it's just contaminated by production, so. Oh, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because I'm just watching a thing that they just put out a thing, first of all, that all of the businesses, and the restaurant businesses, which were worried about the high cost of Obamacare, are no longer worried about the high cost of Obamacare. And that all of the states with the highest taxes and the most unionisms are the most prosperous states in the nation. Um, okay, this is Herbie, folks. This is not Herbie Daddy. He doesn't generally come on. But Herbie tells you um, the reason why it's not going to cost the restaurants as much as they originally thought was because under the rejiggering of Obamacare, it's not going to cost them two thousand dollars this year, or a thousand dollars to as a penalty for dumping your employee off of the tax, off of your insurance policy. It's only going to be ninety-five dollars. Mm. So they're saving nine hundred dollars an employee in fee and fines by throwing the employees off of the health care system, which they said will result immediately in eight to ten million new people on uh, that aren't insured. And then the other thing is that. Um, does anybody seriously believe that New York State and that Illinois and that um, the you know Michigan with Detroit and Los Angeles and, and California are the big, fastest growing business growth sectors in the United States? I don't think so. So anybody say fuzzy math? Yes. And a woman's house burned down by snakes she set on fire. Um, well, she didn't actually set the snake on fire. She set the wall on fire to try to kill the snake. <laughs> and didn't think that it would burn the house. I don't know. And, you, know. You, you set a fire in your house. I, I, actually, I was watching a bad episode last night of. Um, Somebody wasn't thinking apparently. Uh, but it was in it was in a Wild Wild West episode, and uh, and Artemis Gordon said to to James West, "I don't think it was a good idea to set a fire in this building because they're going to let us burn to death." So, yeah. There, there is a reason they have something called the Darwin Award. Yeah, they would have, there were many Darwin Awards, so. And York State Senate pushes ahead with budget votes. Was that New York? Yeah, New York State, basically, they're going to, in order to, in order to spur growth of business in the state of New York, well, they've already banned, New York is a big state for building guns. They've, they're basically losing the gun group. New York State is a big state for 
uh, that you know they're basically banning fracking. They're going they know they're to spur growth. They're basically banning everything and increasing taxes on people, which means you're going to always you know they're going to balance the budget with new taxation. In suing the clinic over drugs, U.S. baseball may be targeting players. Oh, absolutely, because they're going to okay. They can't get people, the, they can't subpoena the records because they're claiming client privilege. So they're suing the thing, saying it's turning out items that are banned and supplying them illegally to baseball players. So, uh, well, I mean, it's basically Alec Rodriguez's career is over, this Stephen Braun career, who won a most valuable player trophy, whom they discovered basically, he, you know, well, it was a mistake. I didn't really have that... Uh, I wasn't taking the PEDs, and when I gave the people thirty-five thousand dollars, it was as a um, yeah. She's thinking about it. She look at that. She's crawling mm -hmm. right through it. I saw yeah. that Monty. Bubble. It was as they were they were simply assisting him in his defense against Major League Baseball. Thirty-five thousand dollars for just what he would. They think he was paying for the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> and Mayor Bloomberg predicts success for expanded gun checks. Um, okay, the President of the United States basically just managed to alienate everywhere by saying Republicans are selfish. Republicans are only thinking of big business. Republicans are this, Republicans are that. Republicans don't care about children. It, it basically killed any chance that they had of getting any gun legislation today. Uh, they said Obama, okay, here's the trick is, uh, oh, Herbie says, Obama wasn't on the teleprompter this morning because the room was too full of people that have been that have been injured by gun violence. Mm -hmm. So he had to do it off the cuff. And when Obama gets off the cuff, he is one mean person. He really he he he's, this guy's got the worst temperament of any president I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen lots of them. And Bloomberg says he told Rupert Murdoch to quit Twitter. Well, yeah, you know, because it, it doesn't. These people are on Twitter, and it's okay. Here's the problem: is they don't actually on Twitter. Bill O'Reilly has a Twitter account. And he said he's never seen it. Mm -hmm. Most of these people. Do you think Ashton Crusher actually does all of this, or do you think that um, over on Facebook that George Takai was actually doing all of those things on Facebook? No. Mm -hmm. And public braves uh, snow for gay marriage case tickets. Well, I know it's uh, it, it's okay. The gay marriage thing is basically croaking at the moment because they're the what happened is the mainstream press is absolutely misrepresenting everything, and and uh, and be, and what happens is is they have decided between them themselves and the Supreme Court that we made a mistake. We simply have to get our rear ends out of what we've done. So what they're going to do is to make it a states' rights issue and when, uh, and let the states decide it. And will the government thing? Well, actually, the gov they're not got they're going to decide to narrow it down on the government thing, saying, well, you can't deny if you're a couple. It says nothing about being married. It says if you're a couple and common law marriages are a couple, that you can't deny them benefits because they were never married because they do it all the time. So that's how they're going to deny it. They're going to simply say, "Well, yes, the federal government has to re has to uh, to give these same benefits to people living together, even if they're living." As the one guy said, "Even if they're living in against the law, they still have to be paid the benefits." Mm -hmm. uh, uh, chimps, gorillas, and other apes being lost to trade. Yeah, it, it's just it's um, it, it's it's just sort of ridiculous anymore. And China, Brazil signed trade and currency deal before the BRIC summit. I, I know, which means that, uh, okay, Brazil is where the next Olympic Games are going to, several Olympic Games are going to be held. And Brazil is a busted country, but it's got lots of oil. We, we know because, well, we shut down our offshore drilling in the United States. Obama is giving the Brazilian government all as much money as they need to use the rigs that belong to us to drill. Uh, deal. They're drilling deeper off of Brazil than they were drilling here, which means there's more of a chance of a massive accident in deep water than there is in shallow water like we do. Ooh. And um, Senator Mark Warner announces support for gay marriage. I love it how these guys that have gay relatives all of a sudden change positions. They said, uh, okay, here, they said, okay, here's a good one. Oh, you know what Herbie Daddy says? He is from Virginia. There's not one chance in hell he's going to get reelected in Virginia supporting gay marriage. And Blumenthal blasts MRA over Newton robocalls. 
Well, it's, it's all right if he does it, but it's not all right if anybody else. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, that people do stupid things, and that's why they call them politicians. <laughs>